guys always here this month has literally been crazy with tech and it's not the end we still have the macbook air we still have the mac mini we still have the ipad pro to unbox before i get started make sure to subscribe hit the like button and put the bell icon on so when i release a video you guys get notified before i start the unboxing a quick backstory a year today i ordered the xbox one x day one release from microsoft until today it has been sealed never been opened never been played never even been looked at so i'm pretty excited so let's just go straight into the unboxing of the all new microsoft xbox one x scorpio edition i have my trusted kitchen knife ready to release the beast let's put this to one side and flip this and open it up okay so we've got some documents okay a box and another one another one we have a quick start guide code for games a code for xbox live go which is pretty cool so pretty much you're ready to get online once you set it up you get a vertical stand for the xbox just in case you want to stand it up let's get this opened up you get the hdmi cable power cable the scorpio edition controller and two aa batteries Let's have a closer look at that controller. Now, I've always preferred the Xbox controller over the PS controller. This controller has far better grip than the previous gen. Joysticks are rugged, buttons are close by. Overall, the look and feel of this controller is top. It's very comfortable to hold. Now, for the main event, it's been a long time, so let's open it up. It's definitely packing some weight. Whoa! This thing looks wicked. I love how it blends from the left to right with the texture. Got the logo up here too. The front, very simple and sleek. The back has a lot of IO. Two pins are located on the side for the vertical stand. Hey, gotta peel this, it feels good. This thing is a beast. I don't know how Microsoft have managed to put all that power and yet make it smaller than the Xbox One S. Plus, the power supply is built in. That's just insane. That's not all that's insane. The IO is just as insane. So we have the Ethernet port, optical port, headphone jack, two USB 3.0 ports, two HDMI ports, and a power port. But that's not it. It's capable of true 4K gaming. It has spatial sound, high dynamic range, 4K game DVR, 12 gigabyte of GDDR5 RAM, one terabyte of hard disk drive, eight cores, and the list is endless. Talking about cores, the GPU is crazy on this. It has six teraflops of performance, and if you compare that with the Xbox One, it's just 1.2 teraflops. The PS4 and PS4 Pro has 1.8 and 4.2 teraflops respectively, so, is the Xbox One X worth it? Well, it depends. If you want the most powerful game console, then yes. But for majority of the people, the cheaper Xbox One S will do that job. So what do you guys think of the Xbox One X, especially this Scorpio edition? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.